This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so by the looks of it, as per rumours from a couple of weeks ago, of course I did a video on this one as well, that Deontay Wilder seems quite unhappy with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champions, Al Heyman, over money. Okay, now as per reports today, it appears that Deontay Wilder is very, very frustrated with the PBC over potential money for a fight with Andy Ruiz Jr. and is now touting potential suitors, i.e. other promoters, whether it be for the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight or whether it be for a Francis Ngannou fight. But either way, he's now going to be speaking with other promoters, leaving the PBC. Now, would Al Heyman still stay on um, as his advisor? Maybe. Would Shelly Finkel still be his manager? Maybe. We don't know. But a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I said I wouldn't be at all surprised if Deontay Wilder actually leaves the PPC and joins BLK Prime. Obviously, Terence Crawford's fought on there. You've got Adrian Broner and a couple of others. And apparently, they have very, very deep pockets. They have huge financial backers. So they can certainly afford to pay the kind of money that Deontay Wilder would like to have. Okay, now with the WBC already ordered Wilder versus Andy Ruiz Jr., all it would take was somebody to bid for that fight because at some point, because they can't agree on a deal, it's going to go to purse bid. So anybody out there can bid for that particular fight, which of course would be a good thing for Wilder and Ruiz because that would mean more money. They're all going to be bidding against each other, aren't they? So that, that would be a good thing. But if he's not that serious about Andy Ruiz Jr. fight and wants to go fight at Francis and Ganu or whatever, hey, listen, there's plenty of options out there for him. Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, don't be surprised if that one was to happen um, with uh, Deontay Wilder joining them. Listen, things like this have happened before, okay? You think, no chance, but they do. B. Joe Saunders going to Matchroom was one of them, right? So... Never say never. Of course, if he joins up with Matchroom, then of course you're looking at Anthony Joshua fight. You're looking at Dylan White fight, Philip Herkovic, um, loads and loads of them. Um, um, if he wants to go join up with Queensbury, okay, Queensbury they don't really put on shows in America, but they can certainly work with Top Rank and ESPN. So again, there's a potential for a fourth fight with a Tyson Fury, a Joe Joyce, a Daniel Dubois, all those kind of ones. So, plenty of options out there. Jared Anderson, okay, over on the ESPN side of things. So, plenty of options out there for Deontay Wilder. It is going to be interesting to see what he does, where he goes from here. I mean, he is getting on a bit now. He's, what, 38, 39 years old, something like that. So, he needs to make moves. And I'm sure it's got to eat up at him, the fact that he turned down $100 million to fight Anthony Joshua for Undisputed. $100 million to go fight... Tyson Fury for far less. That's got to eat up at him, especially with the kind of issues that the PBC seem to be going through right now, where they can't afford to put on certain fights. They can't afford to do it. Fighters are not getting guarantees and all that kind of stuff. You know, I made a video back in January. Some of you remember I'm outside early in the morning in the snow and with my dog or or one of the Huskies, and what was it I said? Don't be surprised if this is the last year of the PBC in boxing. Don't be surprised. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.